Hi guys, good to see you. I have a tutorial for you today based on your request and it comes from the giveaway that I just did. Remember it was the um, Shade and Light kit from Kat Von D with these fabuloso colors and also the Starbucks coffee. My congratulations to Samantha Levinson from beautiful sunny california she's our winner but based on this giveaway you guys really responded to the color palette when i uh, announced it i was wearing these three colors actually make that four um, in this particular kit and you all asked for a tutorial on how to apply these now i know that there are quite a few of you my uh, european followers you may not have access to the kat von d kit but you know what no worries, there are so many eyeshadow kits that have these similar colors in the peaches and the browns and all of that. So if you come close, I'll still be able to walk you through this tutorial anyway. But I've already started with the basics. I have my foundation, concealer, blush, contour, all of that going, brows. So we're gonna launch right into the eyes and make that look happen. You ready? Good. Okay, I hope I have zoomed in for you enough here, but what I'm going to do is I will start with this color, this peach right here. That's going to go all over the eye and uh, we'll give it a nice peachy coat. And again, it's a nice even wash of that peach color, which will be the foundation for your shadow. It's the perfect peach. I told you what I love so much about this kit was they are all matte shadows, no shimmer, no iridescence. And uh, you know, once we ladies reach a certain age, the uh, iridescence can certainly sink into the lines and uh, not enhance the youthful look that we're trying to achieve. Okay, so now that I have peach everywhere, the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to do sort of a cut crease look with this. Remember last time when I did that cut crease technique for you guys, I would take a pencil and draw right above this natural crease line that's in the eye and go a little bit higher. Well, I'm going to do that with shadow and with a brush like so. This is all my brushes are from MAC. This is a firm brush, relatively thin up top. So I'm going to take this reddish color right here and I'm going to use that one now to go into the crease area. And again, I'm going right above, carving out a higher crease line. And the purpose of this is to open up the eye, make it seem larger than it is, and follow the natural curvature of your crease, but taking it just to the brow bone and then coming out on the side. Same thing for the other. And you can see already the illusion that that creates. Immediately the eye seems bigger, more open. Okay, and pull it out to the side because we are going to uh, feather it out. And uh, again, make the eye not only seem more open, but wider as well. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna cut in with the brown right here, the darker shade, and I'm going to take that again into the crease area, but also we're gonna work out to the side now. And this is with a thin, firm little brush to be a little more precise. So again, winging it out on the side. And coming up. into my crease. And remember, if you make any harsh lines, it will all be blended out in the end. And I layer, so I may start conservatively and then build and then take away if I go a little too heavy. So don't be scared if it looks a little bit bold right now. I always say be bold and be blessed, but I do mean that with taste, obviously. So right now I'm just focusing on the outer corner. We'll use a liner in just a moment. 
Now I may go back with my reddish color on top of that and just smooth it. Bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to work on that harsh line right there in just a moment. So now what I'm going to do, I have a pencil that I love by L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering in Brown Burn. This is a wonderful, inexpensive pencil to be able to line the waterline of your eye and to smudge. I find this to be just as good as the higher dollar um, pencils. So have fun and save some money at the same time. Okay, so we're going to go in the waterline now the bottom and the top. Same with the other eye. And once I'm done there, I'm going to take the pencil again and just smudge very lightly along the top of the lashes. And then we will blend that out with our brush. So now I'm going to take that thin brush again with the darker brown and I'm going to use that along the top lash line now to smudge. I don't want any harsh lines and you'll see when all of this is blended out it will be very soft and smooth. Nice clean line right there. I'm so glad you all responded very well to this kit. Seems to be a hit. Many of you had your eye on it before I even uh, featured it as a giveaway. And you all were so excited about the color choices and the fact that they were matte. So I get the feeling we're all on the same page here. So that is blended out. And now to smooth out the bottom, I will take this larger brush that had that reddish rust color. Same thing. I'm going to use that color. And don't be scared to do just a tiny, tiny bit of red under the eye. Uh, if it blends with brown, and if there's enough brown in there, it won't make you look tired. Okay, so I'm going to take that. And because this combines with that uh, brown pencil, it creates just the right rust color. This is my opportunity to assess. I've got a little bit of light right in here that I want to cover with the brown. And I will be blending all of this very shortly with the highlight color. And then we're also going to do a little uh, trick to make the brows pop as well. Okay, so now it is time for our highlight, which would be this light color right here. We'll go under the brow bone and will be used to smooth out any uh, strong lines that we've created. So first I'll go under the brow. and then come down. I also have a great blending brush as well. The one that we started with the overall peach color, perfect again. We're now smoothing that line between the light and the dark. So just rub that peach on it. And this is great for sort of pulling it out to the side and it becomes a very very smooth eye look. Same thing on this side and we're getting rid of our harsh lines. Very good. One of my favorite eye techniques is to really make the eyebrows pop is to take a white pencil and I'm going to take it and I'm going to draw a line right underneath my brow. Very, very lightly. Now initially it's going to look like white chalk, but don't worry. And also in the corner of the eye. Give a nice bright eye look. I will now take a flat brush that I will take it and just smooth and pull down right underneath my brow. 
and it just magically fades but it creates the most beautiful brow bone highlighter just a simple white pencil I got it at Walgreens <laughs> of course same thing for the inner eye just take it and blend and now to the other side I feel like you're listening to the golf channel. <laughs> I'm whispering. They are now approaching the ninth hole. The wind is out of the south. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to pull back now and we will do mascara and lashes, okay? Just a little bit. There we go. Now you can sort of get a feel for how everything's looking. Regular old curling gadget torture chamber, depending on your technique. How many of you have lost a few lashes doing this? Oi. All right. Rocket Volume Express. Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Maybe not. I will apply two coats to the top. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm just gonna hit the bottom lashes ever so lightly. I prefer to keep the focus above on the top. Uh, you probably will ask what color blush I use and I wish I could tell you it's an oldie but a goodie from a MAC collection. Um, just sort of a peachy brown. So make sure it just works with the eye color but it could really be any blush color of your choosing. Um, bottom lashes. I'm going to use, what am I using? Voluminous false fiber lashes because the wand is a very thin and straight wand and I find that it hits those bottom lashes a little bit easier. I just do a little tap, wiggle, and pull and that's it. I really don't want the long spiders coming down, just more of a, uh, a little darkness close to the rim and that's about it. A little touch up of powder, catch any little bits of um, eyeshadow that may have fallen below. Everything else is done and now I'm going to follow it up with a lip color that I wore in that video. It is by MAC and it is called Strength. Because girl, we gotta be strong. This is a great color. It's, it's warm. It has a little bit of an iridescence to it. Not too orange, not too red, not too brown. It's just like the perfect marriage of all those colors that I just mentioned. So I'm going to use MAC's Spice Lip Liner to outline the mouth, the mouth from the south. <laughs> that should be my new moniker. All right, and I will push in close for you guys so you can see the color as it's being applied. A little lip brush from MAC. See what I mean? Not too light, not too dark. Not everybody can wear darks well. They can be aging as you get a little older, but you still want a, uh, a nice kick of color for fall. There you go. There you have it. The look from the uh, giveaway video of my new favorite, favorite shadow kit, this shade and light. They are rocking it. Kat Von D, I salute you for coming out with such tremendous colors that'll work well on everybody. I'm so happy you responded to this. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I forgot to put on my falsies, but you don't need me to do that. It was more about the application of the eyeshadow, but I will do a little thin strip of falsies just to finish it off. And uh, c'est fini. So thank you for your suggestions. It's because of you. Many of you said, please do a tutorial on that look. And I am so happy to oblige. I think I'm, I'm long overdue for a um, Q and A video. You guys have so many interesting questions. Some of them personal, things about blended families and how do you make that work. Um, others about skincare and makeup or whatever. So this is my invitation for you to write down what it is that you would like me to answer in my next video. You can do it in the comment section of this particular video or I will uh, post something on my Facebook page soliciting those questions as well. But I really, really enjoy answering your questions and um, who knows, maybe if I answer somebody's question, I've answered yours 
yours as well. That's the whole idea. So thank you for this one. I appreciate you being here. As always, follow me on social media as well as KPRC Channel 2 in, at 6 and 10 p.m. Also, the station's website, click2houston.com, will allow you to see the newscast live if you're outside the Houston area. So I would encourage you and welcome you to get a slice of my life on local Houston news. As I always say, now with your fall palette going here, go out there, be bold, be blessed, and I will see you in a week. Ta-ta!